Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nelson County High School for the semifinals of the women's volleyball fifth region. Tonight's game is featuring the Washington County Commanderettes and the Central Harden Lady Bruins. Again, once again, welcome in, guys. My name is John Graves. I'm with the Washington County Schools broadcast crew. We kind of put this together this morning and said, hey, y'all want to do some volleyball tonight? And, uh, of course, Mike and Matt said, always. So we come over tonight to broadcast, as always, with our broadcast. We will be trying to answer some comments as we go through. We have been through with the um, we have been through with the national anthem, so we're going through the uh, starting lineups, what's going on in the court. Let's look at this. Um, let's look real quick how uh, Washington County got here. As I've kind of printed out some rosters, they um, they were second in the district, beating, getting beat by Bardstown, um, three games to one. That was a couple weeks ago. Then they've come over here to the fifth region. They played Monday night and uh, played against a very good Taylor County team out of the 20th district. Washington County won that 3-2 to two in a very tight game to advance to the night semifinals. Central Harden is out of the 17th district. They are ranked number 13th in the state. They've got an overall record of 30-8. and eight. They are 14-2 and two in the region and 8-2 and two in the district. Washington County is 15-21. and 21. Overall, they are 7-11 in the, in the region and 4-6 and six in the district. Again, as you heard Coach... Um, Rogers say a little bit ago, they're, they're not supposed to be here, so they're very loose and ready to go. So it, it's going to be a great game tonight. Uh, getting here tonight for Central Harden again, they beat Greene County, the number two seed out of the 18th district. They beat them three sets to none, and uh, they're teed up ready to go tonight. They've played in the state level several times. Uh, as you heard Coach say, they've got a couple really good players in Kelsey Brangers and uh, Emma Pike. Uh, they're going to try to keep the ball away from him. But Washington County is a good team. They've, uh, they've got seven juniors on this year's team one senior and uh so next year was supposed to be their year as coach said uh, but guess what we're in the semifinals of the fifth region knocking on the door to go to the state tournament so anything can happen that's why we play the games um, i have been blessed to watch a lot of these girls play as my daughter is the same age as all of the juniors and i've seen these girls come up through the various you know the washington county program and, and the st dominic program so these girls have played a lot of volleyball um you know they're juniors in the 11th grade They've been playing for seven or eight years. So, you know, they're, they're used to this stage. So uh, we will try to update some of the rules and everything tonight. For some of, the, from some of you all that don't follow um, women's volleyball on a regular basis, uh, this is not church league volleyball. Uh, these girls compounded very, very quickly. So um, I miss most of the starting lineup. So when they come out on the floor, we'll kind of update some of those um, as they come out. I know Madison Hilton is a libero for this year's uh, Commander Ed squad. Uh, she's a senior. Um, so let's see who comes down the floor again. If you've got comments, you go ahead and post them on here, and I'll try to answer them or at least make something up on my on my way of doing it. Um, the one thing about volleyball is they are very kind of regimented. You know, we shake hands, we we do the whole high fives and everything. It's kind of fun to watch if you've not uh, seen this in live. Small crowd here tonight, so that means we're hoping a lot of people are eating a bowl of chili and and listening to us tonight or listening to me. Um, but it's not too late to come over. We are going to carry both games tonight, both semifinals, as our nightcap is between the E-Town Lady Panthers and the Marion County Lady Knights. So uh, a lot of volleyball going on tonight. Again, uh, head coach for the Commanderettes is John Rogers. His assistant is Danita Sims. Head coach for Central Harden is William Reneker. So starting for Washington County, looks like number 12, Lizzie Riley. Number 16, Abigail Mattingly. Number nine, Maddie Pettis. Number 27, Kara Greenwell. Number 11, Andrea Clemens. And number 15, Trinity Baker. For Central Harden on the floor is number four, Emma Pike. Number 29, Tori Steele. Number eight, uh, Caroline Pruitt. Number 20, Janice Harrington. I'm missing a couple here. Number 11, Emma Shaw. And entering the game, number three, Kelsey Brangers, the libero. The ones in the different color jerseys, the libero, they can come in pretty much any time they want to. Once another player comes in for somebody, they, they can only come in for that person. So Madison Hilton for the Commanderettes, well, she can come in and, and pretty much play any spot. I, learned, I did learn a little bit in Coach Bystrick's uh, class back at St. Catharines. So Wash County first up with a serve, and Maddie Pettis got the ball. That's going to be a point for Washington County. It's number 14, Allie Simpson puts that in the net.
Matty Pettis, a junior on this year's team. She floats one over. Puts it in a tough spot for Central Harden, but they make the play. That ball's out. Washington County is going to be up two to nothing early in this match. Again, we'll play. It's the best of five. We'll go to 25. Winner must win by two. Served by Pettis. That's going to be a tough spot. Central Harden gets it over. Dig by Riley to Baker. And we've got a. So I think she touched it twice because they held up two fingers. So that's what we're going to go with. Coming in for Central Harden is number 15, Maddie Ford. She is going to replace number eight, Carolyn Pruitt. And Ford will serve. Dig by Greenwell. Pettis and Riley's going to try to put one down and does. Nice shot by Riley. Lizzie Riley. Substitutions for Central Hard. Number eight, Carolyn Pruitt comes back in. Libero, Bringers comes in. Greenwell's got to serve for the Commanderettes. Very close to being an ace. Tipped. Pettis with the set. Riley with the keel. That's in. Point Washington County. Four to one early in the contest. And Greenwell's back up to serve. Okay, Greenwell, a sophomore for this year, Commander at Team. Ah. Fed is kind of caught off on her back foot. Coming in for the Commanderettes is number 32, Kate Taylor. She's going to replace Kara Greenwell. And it will be Central Harden serve. Again, it's too early. Still got fans rolling in. Nice little contingent of Washington County faithful down here. We do tr tend to travel well. Taylor with the dig. Back over. Riley with the kill. Tipped at the line. Blocked. Out of bounds. Point Central Harden. Once again, we ask you to share off your Facebook page our posts. Try to get as big an audience as we can. It helps with our sponsor. Ah. That's a completely legal play. She didn't touch the net. As long as that net doesn't move, she can come over that net. It's tough at this level to get uh, much over the net. And we got a tie ball game. Central Harden on the serve. Ball comes into Clemens. Pettis with the set. That's gonna be a that's gonna be a carry, so that's gonna be a Washington County point. Five four. Washington County coming in for the commanders is uh, number five. She's gonna come in to serve, and that's gonna be Ann Claire Smith. She's a sophomore in this year's team. And also coming in was Abigail Mattingly. It's out. Good spot. 6-4, Commanderettes. And again, I don't think you can realize from the camera angle uh, just how hard these girls hit this volleyball. Set. Across the court. Blocked. Dug out by Central Harden, and we're going to play some more. Lizzie Riley on the kill, and she does it. Big time kill for Lizzie Riley, and as you heard Coach Rogers say, it's important. Uh, it's important for Lizzie Riley to have a big game. Teresa Sandusky Rakes, thank you. Miss Cochran is watching. Superintendent, I always enjoy her and thank her for letting us do this. Over for Washington County. Central Harden plays back. Ah. Kay Taylor fall back on her heels. She would have held her ground. She would have been there. Coming in for Washington County. Will be the libero, Madison Hilton. Also coming in was Andrea Clemens. She's going to replace Ann Claire Smith. Central Harden with the serve. Seven to five. Washington County is the home team on the scoreboard here. Good dig by Taylor. And she's going to put it over. You can hear a lot of communication out of this 
We got a carry call. I'm going to have to figure out what that is. They keep calling two, but I, it looks like a carry to me. In for Washington County's number four, Olivia Spalding. She replaces Trinity Baker, and she's going to come in to serve. 8-5, Washington County, first match here tonight. Nice serve by Spalding. Cross court. Plenty of digs tonight. Nice hit by Riley. Not able to get it down. Oh, popped over the top. Riley Hilton digs for it. Is not able to get there. So that's going to put the libero, Kelsey Brangers, for Central Harden, 8-6. This first set. Uh, Got to talk. Got to talk. We were in between uh, people. Thank you, Ashley Yates, for the help. The two he is holding up is a double. All right, cool. So, I, I guys, I need all the help I can get. And I will take everything I can get. Mr. Curry, how are you, sir? Dig out by Hilton. Cross. Good block by Mattingly. Kill and a big-time dig by Taylor. And it's going to be out. Taylor, that ball was hit hard. Taylor went and got it, and Maddie Pettis went on the floor to go get it and was unable to do anything with it. So we've got a tie ball game, 8-8. Eight eight. And that's what you've got to do with these. You've just got to try to stay in it and see what happens. Dig by Hilton. Cross court to Riley. She's going to put another one down. Not able to get it to land. That ball was tipped. 9-8 Central Harden, and I believe that's going to be their first lead of the night so far. Just stay close. Let the uh, let the ball bounce where it does. Dig by Hilton. Nice hit by Mattingly. That'll be a kill, I think. In for Washington County, number 27, Kara Greenwell. She replaces Kate Taylor. And Lizzie Riley in to serve. Ah, uh, again, the couple of mistakes that I've seen us make tonight is we're not communicating, we're not talking. Mine, 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 mine. As you see, Central Harden, you can hear it in the gym if it's not coming across the mic. They're doing a lot of communicating across the floor. In for Central Harden, number 29, Tori Steele. She's a junior for the Central Harden team. That's out. 10 10's your score. Coming back in is Andrea Clemens, and going back to serve will be Abigail Mattingly, sophomore for this Commander Ed team. Ace. It's the first ace of the night by Abigail. I was going to track stats, but I get caught kind of watching some of this stuff, so we'll see how it goes. Again, welcome in. We want to thank the school district for allowing us to come over tonight and bring you fifth region volleyball action. Dig, Central Harden. Maddie Pets put it in the middle of the floor, and Lizzie Riley goes for the kill. Central, they're going to say Central Harden was in the net. Point Washington County, 12-10. Abigail Mattingly tries to get the ball down, doesn't. That was, looked like a carry to me. That good save by Pettis. Good block by Clemens. Still in play. Good volley. That's out. Oh. That's his call. It was, am I allowed to be favoritism on this? That's a bad call. That's a bad call. I'm wearing Washington County. Yeah, that's a bad call. Questionable call is how I would tell me to say. Central Harden with the serve, 12-11. Washington County. Greenwell with the kill. Trinity Baker is going to check in. Olivia Spaulding is going to check out. John Rogers has got this team right where he wants them. Just keep playing volleyball. Again, a couple mistakes we're making is just simple communication. 
Pettis with the serve. Push. Central Harden. Watch the Canes. Got a shot to get it over, and they do. Madison Hilton with the big dig. Pettis comes and gets it. Clemens goes over with it. Let's play some more. Dig by Hilton. Over by Pettis, and Riley gets it back over. This crowd's starting to get into it a little bit. What do we got? Point Central Harden. It was tipped by Washington County. It looks like Andrew Clemens tipped, tipped it just a little bit. It's okay. It's fun when they start going back and forth. It gets exciting. The crowd gets into it. 13-12, Central Harden serving the ball. Washington County with the lead. Dig by Greenwell. Just hit by Riley. Got to get it over here. Push over. By Riley on the dig. Greenwell on the kill. I'm going to tell you what. You can look at the records all you want. This Washington County team is not scared of Central Harden one bit. I'm going to have to rearrange my plans tomorrow night, guys. We may be back. Let's keep it going. There you go. Central Harden, you knew she was coming. Tori Steele. In for Washington County is Kate Taylor. She checks in for Greenwell. In for Central Harden is number 19, Madison Walters. And she's going to check in for Tori Steele, and she's going to come in and serve. So you got Riley, Hilton, Taylor, Clemens, Pettis, and Baker on for the Commanderettes. Dig by Taylor. Oh, I think that was four hits. Didn't get it over. Riley was unable to get that ball up. 14-14. I guess we're kind of midway through this first set. Dig by Taylor. Set by Pettis. Push by Clemens. Out. Commander Etz. Pick up the point. In for the Commander Etz is Ann Claire, Ann Claire Smith. And also Andrea Clemens. Or correction, Abigail Mattingly. Out is Andrea Clemens and Madison Hilton. And Smith is back to serve. That ball's out. That ball had some top spin on that ball. was coming in a hurry. 16-14, Commanderettes. Point Washington County, 17-14, Commanderettes. Timeout, Central Harden. One minute timeout. Commander Ed's up 17 to 14. Got to take a little break here ourselves. Let me get a drink of water. Again, if you're just now joining us, uh, we want to thank the Washington County School District for coming over tonight. Uh, I was glad to join. Uh, my daughter knows, goes to school in Washington County. She's a junior, went to school with a lot of girls that played. So we want to come over to support tonight. And if I'm going to come to a game, I might as well work. So we want to thank Mr. Cyphers and Mr. Smith for joining us tonight and giving us this opportunity. Game presented tonight by Atmosphere Entertainment. You don't have a party without Atmosphere. Shameless plug. Sorry, guys. Had to. Once again, Washington County coming in. Probably the underdog tonight. You know, Central Harden may have overlooked them a little bit as they come in with a record of 30-8. Washington County come in with a record of 15-21. But guess what? We're through this first set. Washington County's up by three. But it can change in a hurry. That ball's in. 17-15. It's probably not a bad timeout by Central Harden. In for Washington County will be the libero, Madison Hilton. And Andrea Clemens out will be Ann Claire Smith. Trinity Becker will check in as well. Central Harden with the serve. Down two. Go back and get it by Hilton. Pettis is going to put it over. Cross court. That was tipped. Ah, over. Got to get it over. Dig by Hilton. Set by Pettis. By Riley. Two hits. Two hits. 
Robin, we do have an awesome tech staff here, and uh, I appreciate the opportunity to do these games. It's fun to come over here. We've done some football and some basketball games, um, but you do have an awesome tech staff that, that comes over and doesn't mind to give their time to come over and do this. If they can do what they do. I can come over and talk, that's for sure. Ashley Yates, you did play on both these teams at one point in time, didn't you? And you're now at midway, and that ball is out. Washington County up by one, 18 to 17. John Rogers wants to take a timeout. So we are in the first set. Washington County has led throughout most of it. I think the biggest Central Harden lead, they was up by one at one point. Washington County's been up by as many as four. Um, and it's, you know, they're playing with plenty of enthusiasm. Uh, the only mistakes that I'm seeing they make is, uh, you know, they need to talk a little bit more, but it's early in the match that that's happened. Mr. Gordon is watching. He needs to be on his way over here. I think he's got a daughter that's going to play in this next game. So I am glad to figure, uh, see you figured out how this works, Joe Pat. Again, thanks for all that are watching. Share this. Tell your friends. Anybody wants to watch some good volleyball and eat a bowl of chili, it's kind of kind of cool out tonight. Central Harden with the serve. Dig by Taylor. It's going to hit a banner. It's going to be out of bounds, and we're going to have a tie ball game, 18-18. to 18. Checking in for the Commanderettes is going to be – now, do they go by Commanders or Commanderettes? They've got Commanders on the back of the jerseys. They're going to mess with me here. E-Town's team is arriving as they will be in our nightcap, second game of the semifinal. Riley on the cross court. Tipped at the line. Hilton on the dig. Pettis on the set. Abigail on the push. Good placement right there. Olivia Spaulding on the dig. Riley's going to knock one down. That ball was tipped. That's going to be a point Washington County, 19-18. Probably. Most referees are confused in general. I don't know these guys. If their mom's watching, I apologize. Ah, ace! Lizzie Riley. Second ace of the night for the Commanderettes. We've got the biggest crowd here tonight by far. We, we're filling up part of these bleachers down here in front of us. I thought that was going to drop in there too. Push over by Washington County. It's going to land in there. Good play by Maddie Pettis. 21 to 18. Washington County up. And that gets this crowd fired up. Timeout Central Harden. Again, for those joining us that are casual volleyball fans, first uh, best of five. First four matches go to 25, must win by two. The last match is first one to 15, must win by two. So this can go quick, or we can be here for an hour and a half. Just kind of depends on how it wants to play. Right now it looks like we're going to have some ball games here. I wish I'd have brought my seat. I'm not ready for gym time yet. We're still football season. Washington County is off this week. Commanders will play next week as the playoffs have been set. We will travel to Owen County, and I think they're the Colonels maybe. I don't know. About 15, 20 minutes on the other side of Frankfurt. I think are you all coming up for that one. I'm going to just put you on the spot, didn't I, <laughs> Mike? <laughs> but uh, in between games, we got a couple other things we want to discuss of what's coming up. Good serve by Riley. Uh, I believe that one's not going to be out. The girls were calling for it. Greenwell with the pushover. Hilton. I wish I had tracked her digs because she's got several. Push over by Riley. Good spot. Ah. Off the block. 21-19. Your score. Checking in for Central Harden will be Tori Steele. And serving for Central Harden down two points will be Allie Simpson. She's a junior for this Central Harden team. 
Dig by Olivia. They're going to have to go get that one. It's going to be in the stands. 21 to 20. All right, girls, just calm down a little bit. Central Harden still with the serve. Washington County has fought so hard in this one. I want to say, I, I think we get this first set down, this first match, we may be okay. That's a good play. Ball in the net, just kind of barely tips over. That's going to tie us up, 21 to 21. Simpson still on the serve, and Washington County is going to call a timeout. Again, winner of this game will play the winner of the second semifinal between E-Town and Marion County. E-Town is out of the 17th district, I think. Let's see, 17th district, so Central Harden. Marion County, of course, out of the 20th, and Washington County out of the 19th. As uh, Coach Rogers said, he'd love to not see this be an all-17th district final. So we'd love to have a 19th and 20th district final. I think that'd be fun tomorrow night. Washington County, Marion County game. I'll t always take one of those games. Again, the winner will play tomorrow night. That game time, I think, is 6.30 here at Nelson County High School. Back to action we come. Simpson puts the ball in play. Dig by Riley. Up by Pettis, and Greenwood's going to have to get it over, and she puts it in the net. It's been a long time since Central Harden had a lead. They've got one now as they're up 22-21. Dig by Riley. Puts it right in the net. Pettis not able to do anything with it. 23-21. This is a big spot right here for Washington County. We need to get this ball back right now. Serve one in the net or just play volleyball, but we need to get one back. This crowd's trying to rally their troops. Dig by Spalding. Kill by Riley. She puts one in the net. Big spot right there. That gets this game back 22 Washington County, 23 Central Harden, but it puts the ball back in their play. You score points both ways, but I always feel better when we're serving the ball. I feel like we got a little bit more control of the action. Abigail Mattingly, down one, down three for the, for the set. Good dig. Central Harden. She's going to put one in the net. 23-23. Late in the first match here. Abigail Spalding's ball in hand. Washington County looking for it. Big point here. Spins it up. Ball's over. Cross court. Greenwell on the dig. Pettis on the set. Greenwell on the kill. Good spot right there. 24-23, ladies and gentlemen. We have game point as the Commander fans come to their feet. Abigail Mattingly, a sophomore, has got the ball in hand. Let's get this first set, ladies. About an ace, Matt. Ah, in the net. An inch, and that ball falls right over. 24-24. Again, you got to win by two. So we get the ball back and get a good serve. Serving for Central Harden, I believe, is going to be Emma Shaw. She puts the ball in play. Dig by Riley. Set by Pettis. Point. Central Harden. It's been a nip and tuck game the entire way. Game point for Central Harden. Dig by Riley. By Pettis. And that first set's going to go to Central Harden as they're going to win the first set 26 to 24. Again, that was a nip tuck game back and forth. Best of five, so we'll switch ends of the court. Game went back and forth all the time. We're gonna, we've got about three minutes in between the next set, so we're gonna take a timeout. Let me catch my breath. Again, this is not church league volleyball. Nothing against that, but uh, they came out here to play. As we see, E Town's coming in, and Marion County's walking in too. And we'll have their second game tonight. So we'll be back in action in about two minutes.
All right, back to action here at Nelson County High School as the girls' fifth region semifinal. First game is between the Washington County Commanderettes and the Central Harden Lady Bruins. Central Harden out of the 17th district. Washington County out of the 20th district. No, 19th district. And the first match went to Central Harden. 20. Six to 24, very close game all the way through. Neither team led by more than three points, I think. I think Washington County got up three, maybe four to one, and then 18 to uh, 19 to 16. And then uh, Central Harden went up. I want to say 23 to 19, 22 to 19. So we're into set number two. Good dig. Good dig by Riley. Just a bit outside. You know, one thing we kind of looked at at the break, um, I don't think we had it on camera, but Washington County's very loose tonight. They, they're over here laughing and joking Central Harden during their timeout. They were locked into every word the coach was saying, but our girls were, they were all smiles. Good pushover by Greenwell. Central Harden with the kill. That's going to be Tory Steele, a junior for the Central Harden team. You can lose the first set. You know, that was a tough game, but you, you want to stay in this next one. This is an important set. It's an important start. Pettis to Clemens. Spalding on the dig. Pettis on the set. Blocked and back, and we're still playing volleyball. Tipped at the line. Riley's got to dig. That ball's got to go over. Bad, bad dig there. Ah. Spalding put that just a little bit too far over the net, and Washington County has dug themselves an early 3 nothing hole. Hilton goes back and gets it, and Clemens is going to put it over. No problems with that one. Washington is going to substitute. Those got to get up a little bit. They four to nothing, but Washington County started up four to nothing in the last game, and uh, this game can go back and forth in a hurry. Clemens on the pass. Greenwell puts it over. Block. But it's going to be blocked out of bounds. Point Central Harden. 5-0 your score. Dig up by Riley. She puts it over. Out of bounds. Washington's going to get a point, and more importantly, they're going to get the ball back. So it's time to time to make a little ri rally. Maddie Pettis is on the serve. Trinity Baker comes into the game. Push over by Central Harden. Dig by Pettis. Set by Hilton. Digs out of the net by Clemens. And Greenwell on the hit. Into the net, and Washington County's going to get another point, 5-2. Early in this second match. Set, set. I'll get my terminology right here for too long. Oh, a little push over, right over Andrea Clemens' head. 6-2. Central Harden. Central Harden's a very solid team. They Number 13 in the state. The latest max prep polls I looked at today. Ball in the net. Commander at volleyball. Back to serve will be Kara Greenwell. Sophomore. This commander at team. Three to six is your score.
Ah. Uh, not many are going to get by Clemens. Kate Taylor checks into the ball game as Greenwell comes out. Central Harden back with the ball. 7-3 is the score. Dig by Taylor. Washington County can't get over there. A little rattled this second second set. Nice hit by Riley. Pettis on the serve, goes back to Baker, and Baker puts one in. Good job. I think it's Trinity's first point on the night. It couldn't come at a better time. Coming in for the Commanders is going to be Fran Taylor, a freshman on this team. She's going to come in to serve. I think it's the first time she's been in the game tonight. Freshman. Puts one deep. Good dig. And that ball goes way up here by where we're sitting. Taylor's going to come out. She's going to be replaced by Andrea Clemens. On the floor right now, you got Hilton, Riley, Taylor, Pettis, Mattingly, and Baker for the Commanderettes. Miss hit by Taylor. I agree, Kent. We got to tighten up here. 10 4, Central Harden. Taylor on the dig, Pettis on the set, Riley on the hit, tipped at the line. They're going to go to Riley again, and she's going to put one in there. Good, good spot. Coming right back to Riley. Coming in for Washington County to serve will be Ann Claire Smith. She's going to take the place of Trinity Baker. 5-10. Central Harden lead. Good dig by Riley. Pettis tries to slide one over. Unable to. Dig by Hilton. Set by Pettis. Good hit by Riley. Ah, good volley back and forth. There was one point I think Riley had gotten out of position. 11-5, Central Harden, second set. Once again, we're here at Nelson County High School. Dig by Hilton, set by Pettis. Mattingly with it. Two hits, double, whatever that means. Kara Green will check him back in for Kate Taylor. Lizzie Riley on the serve. She floats one a bit outside. 12-6. Central Harden lead. Checking back in for Central Harden will be Tori Steele. Out of the ceiling it comes, and Smith puts it over. Tough spot for Riley. 13-6. Crowd's starting to kind of fill in. By, by all means, Washington County has got a lot more fans here. We've got the better part of a section behind the bench Set up. Into the net. Side out. Washington County ball. Hilton will take a seat. Clemens will come in. And Abigail Mattingly will go back for the serve. We will carry both games here tonight. Marion County and E-Town will be our next one. 
Middle of the floor, dig by Mattingly. Pettis is going to push one over. So Jordan catches up to it. That's in. 14-7. Washington County can't get a good run here. You know, they, they've not played bad volleyball, but they, they can't get, they need a little spurt. Timeout, Washington County. Probably not a bad timeout. Again, I think Coach Rogers is saying the same thing I can. We can't put four or five points together. Once again, we will have both games tonight. Marion County plays E-Town in the second match. We will be talking to uh, Marion County's coach. I've talked. I've seen so many rosters today. I'm confused. David Hibbert is Marion County's coach. They'll play the E-Town Lady Panthers. E-Town's number 17 in the state. Um, again, kind of a surprise with these two. Uh, everybody thought it was going to be E-Town or Bargetown or Central Harden uh, in these matches. Taylor County, a good team out of the 20th District. Washington County's kind of snuck in and said, hey, we want to play some more. Thank you, Ken. I appreciate it. I do what I can and fake it till I make it. And again, if anybody, if I'm missing a terminology or saying something wrong, feel free to correct me. Block, Central Harden. Not what you want coming out of a timeout. Good play. Dig by Smith, set by Pettis, down by Greenwell, blocked. Greenwell tries to put it back over. Point Washington County, double. Still have no idea what that means. But Pettis has got the ball. Floats one to the back part of the court. And she smacks that ball to the parking lot. And the court's not that big. And we're going to get a point. And I'm not too sure they didn't put that point on the wrong side. I think you're right. Is the scoreboard right? Clemens. Pettis. Baker. Central Harden. Dig by Greenwell. Set by Pettis. Back to Greenwell. Here we go. And, again, I think one of the fans is hollering, too. I think – I don't think that score is right. I don't think that score is right. They'll get it fixed. There we go. There we go. Now we're right. 15-10, Central Harden still leading. Dig by Riley. Over to Pettis. Up to Clemens. Out. 16-10 is the score. A little confusion here. And it's tough. You know, you've got people down here at the table that's used to Nelson County and, and their way of doing things. You've got two different teams here that they're not used to. It can get very confusing. And Sarah Hill, that ref does call a lot of those doubles. I'm going to get somebody up here in, here in a minute to explain what that means to me. Ah, I think that was going to carry out. I really think it was. Seventeen to ten. Second set tonight. Greenwell, Clemens, Baker. Dig out by Central Harden. Cross court. He hit one and Riley's able to dig it. Pettis goes and gets it and Greenwell a little low on her on her wrist. Eighteen ten Central Harden. We need a little we need a rally here. And that one's out. So here's our spot right here. You're down 18 to 11. Central Harden's done what they wanted to do in this one. Greenwell's back with the ball, and we need to make a little run here. We need to tighten this game back up. Greenwell puts it over deep, deep court. Emma Pike just kind of stumbled on that one. She couldn't get there. So 18-12 again. 
Just put the ball in play. Make, make the other team make mistakes. That's why I like having the ball on our side of the net. Green will over. Push over. Pettis digs. Riley's going to go ahead and push it over. Finds a diving Central Harden player. Ah, Clemens blocks it offside. 19-12. In for Central Harden will be Madison Walters. In for Washington County will be Kay Taylor. And Kara Green will, will take a seat. Central Harden 19. Washington County 12. Hello, Sarah. This is what I do when I'm not at CrossFit on during the week. I go do volleyball games or whatever. Clemens tries to push one over 20 to 12. Central Harden. Which guy's got to pick their head up? Timeout, Washington County. They get two, two a set. So this will be Washington County's final timeout, I think. And again, I could be wrong. It's happened many times before. Washington County, the first set went 26-24 Central Harden. Very close contest back and forth. This one's been a little bit more lopsided. Um, I think eight is probably the biggest. This is probably the biggest spread we've had yet. Central Harden's up eight right now. Washington just unable to get anything kind of together and make a little run. Uh, Central Harden come out from the onset and kind of they went up six points. 6-1, I think, and they, they've had control of this set the entire time. Push by Riley. Central Harden plays it. That ball is blocked on our side of the net, 21-12. Central Harden with the serve. Madison on the dig, the lone senior on this year's team. Central Harden puts one over. Harsh County handles. Into the net. All right, girls. 21-13. Fran Taylor's going to come in for the commanderettes, and she's going to serve. You probably need to make, some, make a run real quick. She floats one back part of the court. Cross court out. 21-14, Commanderettes. Back part of the court again for Taylor. Dig out. That ball is blocked off Mattingly out of bounds. 22-14, Central Harden with the serve. Still got fans kind of filtering in here. Marion County will play the next game against E-Town. We're going to cover that one as well. Thanks for joining us tonight. Dig by Riley. Set by Pettis. Over by Taylor. Trying to find a soft spot in the Central Harden team. Down. Kill. Emma Lu Ella Lewis. Central Harden. 23-14. It's going to be a serve by Central Harden. And Washington County, as you look through the bracket today, they've been in these spots. It's not over. It's tough, but it's not over. Dig by Taylor, straight up. Pettis on it. Over to Riley. Riley tries to slam one in. Handled by Harden. Tipped up by Taylor. Riley tries again. Handled by Central Harden. Out of the net it comes. Push, Riley, Pettis. Riley out, 24-14, game point for Central Harden in this second set. Game point, Riley on the dig, Pettis on the set, Mattingly puts one in the net, and Central Harden's going to take the second one, 25-14. So that's going to take us to set number three. Three minutes. We'll kind of step away here for just a minute. We'll be back here momentarily.
Welcome back in, guys. As uh, we are into our third set, this is the this could be the end of the season for the Commanderettes, as they lost the first set, 26 to 24, in a very tight game. Uh, the next one was not so tight. Washington County kind of lost their mojo and never never recovered from the onset and uh, lost the second one, 25-14. So this one would be for the game uh, unless Washington County pulls it out. So we're kind of hoping on the Washington County pull it outside. It's a lot more fun. Shauna Stone, uh, somebody I went to St. Catherine with. She played volleyball at St. Catherine. So a double hit is if they don't catch the ball clean. So when they go two, they're not catching it clean, so their hands get a little bit off, and so they're kind of hitting it twice with their hands. So don't put the camera on me to uh, try to explain that because she did it a lot better than I did. But that's, that's what that means. So, see, I don't know. I'll go find out. So we're back. Third set, match set, if Central Harden wins. Maddie Pettis on the serve. Dig by Central Harden. Handled by Greenwell, set to Pettis, and Riley's in the middle of the floor, kind of pushes one over. Handled by Harden. And Greenwell's able to put one down. That was a Greenwell slash Andrea Clemens block. I'd like to see Wash County get up about six here and just go. Nice hit by Pettis. Dig up in the rim. They can play it out of that ceiling, I think, even if it touches something. Tough. Central Harden pushes over. Ah. Again. Not that I know how to coach anything about volleyball. But a little communication gap there. It's tough. Everybody's wanting to play. Everybody wants to get the ball. Everybody wants to help their team. Thank you for joining us tonight. Greenwell handles. And Baker throws one down. Handled by Central Harden. Out of bounds. You know, one thing I can say here about Nelson County is we've got a pretty good view of what's going on up here. I think the rest have only missed one. On the out of bounds side, anyway. No matter what happens this game, we will be covering the Marion County E-Town game. We will talk to Coach Hibbard before that one. His assistant coach is... Uh, Jordan Rental, a Washington County graduate. Nice hit. Nice save by Pettis. Riley will float one over. Greenwell unable to handle it. And it's an inch. Your hands can be off an inch and that ball will go crazy. In for Washington County will be Kay Taylor. In for Central Harden will be... Madison Wal Walters, and she's going to serve. 2-2, Two -two, third set. Walters to Hilton handles it to Pettis. Clemens knocks one down. Float by Central Harden, dug by Riley. Baker tries to throw one down. Central Harden handles it. Blocked, out of bounds. Baker got a piece of it. 3-2. I think this is right where you want to be. You want to keep this match very tight. Try to get the other team to make some mistakes if you're the Commanderettes. Dig by Taylor. Pettis on the set. Over to Riley. Blocked and handled by Hilton. Set by Clemens and Riley will go back to it. Tipped at the line but falls in. 3-3. Three, three. All tied up. Washington County will come back with a set. Quite a few students from Washington County rolling in. Smith on the serve. In. Unable to be handled. So 4-3. Central Harden on the serve. And Emma Pike, a senior for the Central Harden team. I think that's one that Coach talked about that they had to watch. Dig by Taylor. Again, as Coach Rogers said, you know, they, they thought next year was going to be Washington County's year, but they're here a year early. Washington County has one senior, Madison Hilton, this year. 
Dig by Taylor. Pulled back out by Pettis, and Mattingly will push it over. Handled by Central Harden. Behind, flip. Blocked at the line. Blocked out of bounds. 6-3. Tight game. Need to get the ball back here. Need a side out quickly. Floated over to Taylor. Pettis to Baker. Baker smacks one hard. Handled by Central Harden. Goes back. Hilton pops one over. Not able to handle it as Central Harden as Janice Harrington hits one into the net. Washington's got the ball back. Down 4-6. Third set. Olivia Spalding in to serve. Finds the back part of the court. Handled by Central Harden. Tipped over in the middle. Handled by Pettis. And we got to go over with the girls. There we go. Blocked. Wrong side of the net. And Abigail Mattingly was a little late getting there. You want her a little closer to the net on that block so that the ball can't come down there. Dig by Spalding. Set by Pettis. Taylor finds one, just doesn't, nobody wanted to hit it. And Taylor's like, well, Kate said, I will. And she finds the hole. I'm betting John Rogers didn't call that one. I'm betting that was not a set play. Everybody in the fans wanted somebody to get it. Riley on the serve. Finds it to Pike. Central Harden on the attack. Ball lands in. 5-8. Central Harden up. Tory Steele into the game. Serving is going to be Allie Simpson. Simpson puts one. Just a bad spot for Riley. She was a little too far up to handle that one. It would have been in, I believe. The great thing about it is, is I'm watching on my iPhone, so I get a replay on this one. Yeah, that ball would have been in. Just tough to handle. That's why we play a bunch of it. Handled by Spalding over to Greenwell. She puts one deep into the court. It's hard on the attack. Floats one over. Riley comes in late, unable to get there. 10-5. Washington County down by five in this third set. They're already down two games in the match. Got to get a stop. Riley. Pettis Greenwell. That ball's going to get over. Good job. See if we can handle this play. That ball's going to be out. 6-10. Washington County back with the serve. Andrew Clemens comes back in. Abigail Mattingly goes back to serve. So again, thanks for joining us tonight. Make sure you share our page and let everybody know you're watching. Riley over to Greenwell. Blocked and in. Hold on a minute. Four hits, but she hit... She, I think she hit. I, what they're saying is it hit into the net and that the Central Harden player didn't touch it. I think it was a call. So they're calling four hits. So I know just enough to be dangerous. Anyway, 6-11. Greenwell comes back with it. Out. So that's what the referee, and it was right in front of the ref. I mean, I'm sure she had to call. She said that Central Harden never touched it. It was hit into the net. Nonetheless, Washington County, 7, Central Harden 11. Pettis on the serve. Floats one to the back. And that ball's out. Central Harden may be a little anxious here. And that's fine. They can keep hitting them out all day long. And that one goes out. I think the one before that probably would have gone out for Washington County. So, 
About a four-point spread. It's about what we've had this entire set. Dig by Hilton. Out to Pettis, and Greenwood's got to go out and get it. That ball was pushed back over by Clemens. Heads up play. She's going to push it. Riley's going to dig it. Pettis is going to set it, and Riley's going to hit one down. Oh, dug out by Simpson. Central Harden floats one over to Pettis, to Hilton, to Riley. Float up in the ceiling it goes. Simpson's got it. Central Harden's going to put it in the middle floor. Nobody coming got it. Washington County point. 9-12 Washington County. Let's make a run. Greenwell with the serve. Down three. She floats one over and it. I don't know what that was. I think she may have missed hit that, but hey, just keep mixing it up. Do your thing. Come on, Greenwell. 10 12, Washington County. She hits this one a little bit more solidly. Central Harden's ready for it. Ah, dig almost by Pettis. 13 10. Central Harden checking in for the Commanderettes is Kate Taylor, number 32. Coming out is going to be Greenwell. Coming in for Central Harden is number 19, Madison Walters. She will serve. Up three. Dug out. Pettis wasn't able to handle it correctly. 14-10. Entering the game is will be Greenwell and Taylor will be out. Still Central Harden set. Back over in the background, you can see some of Marion County's players starting to get loosened up. They will play the next game. We're going to stay here with it. Game's supposed to go off at 7.30. I don't know that it'll go off any earlier. At this point, I'm hoping it goes off later. Trinity Baker pushes one over. Tipped at the line, handled by Pettis. Up by Hilton. Come on, Lizzie. That a girl. I've got my fan club. Kenzie Gordon come over and gave me a hug. It's her sister Addison will be playing in the next game. Some Marion County fans are starting to roll in. Washington County 11, Central Harden 14. That ball's going to find a piece of floor. Emma Pike puts one on the floor. Washington County 11, Central Harden 15. Again, Central Harden won the first two. So this is do or die time for the Commanderettes. Kenzie is Marion County ready to go tonight. Dig by Greenwell. Up to Pettis. Float by Baker. We got a ball on the court. Huh. Did that help or hurt us? Hold on, let me watch. Let me see what happened. Yeah, that definitely helped us. Definitely helped us because that ball was falling. Don't do it again. But it's okay. <laughs> all right. The officials have wrote all their little notes. They're ready to go. Dig by Greenwell. Up by Pettis. Riley gets it. Blocked. Riley pushes it back over. Ah. Tipped by Baker. Tipped by Pettis. Found the floor. 17. 17 or 16? 16-11. Timeout, Washington County. We have one minute timeout. We'll sit, continue to stay right here. We'll set the stage. Washington County lost the first set, 26-24, in a very close series. The next game was not as close as Central Harden kind of ran away with it. And got on the commander Ed's from the onset and uh, closed it out for an 11-point win. This game here has been about four points. Central Harden's led throughout most of it. I think Washington County's had it down to two once. But um, it's been Central Harden's had it. So, Commander Ed's back on the floor. Nine points. 
We need to make a run. Central Harden still has the serve. Back to serving is Emma Pike, the senior for Central Harden, Lady Bruins. Again, number 13 team in the state, 30-8 and eight overall. After this game, this set, or if we play another one, we will be talking to the Washington County coach and our player of the game. Pettis with the dig. Baker with the push. Uh, not handled by Mattingly. 17, biggest spread of this set for Central Harden. Yeah, Miss Donardo, I think that did help. I think I know where the ball came from, but I don't think I can get to them to do it again. Pettis to Baker. She floats one in the middle. And that ball is kept alive somehow. I thought that was a dead play. Now put it down. Blocked. Riley put it, tries to put one down. Everybody's on the floor. Another round of applause. Greenwell digs it. Riley floats one. Able to dig by Central Harden. Hilton, Pettis, Baker. Blocked. Ah! And I think you see right there why the Central Harden team is 30-8 and eight and why they're, they're ranked so high in the state. They're able to handle. Those were some well-struck balls into some pretty good spots, and Central Harden's able to handle them. 18-11, Central Harden. Dig by Greenwell. Baker on the set. Push over by Hilton. Hard knockdown by Ella Lewis for Central Harden. Eight-point spread by Central Harden. Washington County looking a little flat right now. One thing I can say, we've not given up an ace all night. Push by Riley. Riley's still playing. They're still playing. They're not, they're not done yet. Olivia Spalding's going to come in to serve, and Baker's going to have a seat. Washington County 12, Central Harden 19. Third set, Washington County finds themselves down 0-2 in the match. Blocked by, partially blocked by Pettis, but the ball falls out of bounds. 20 to 12. And Central Harden with the ball. Kelsey Brangers, freshman for this Central Harden team. Hilton stands. Hilton stands Sagracy, I think is how that played out. Entering the game for Washington County. First time we've seen this one, number 21, Abby Warner, a freshman. She comes in for Abigail Mattingly. Also is coming in as number 17, Madeline Borders. She's going to come in for Maddie Pettis. A couple freshmen coming in. Future Commanderettes, 21-12. Washington County down nine. If my math is right. Bringers on the serve. Hilton, Borders, Warner. Pushes over. Set by Central Harden. Hilton puts one over. Set. And that one finds the wood. Washington County's backs up against the wall here. Down two sets. Down ten in the third. Coming in for the Commanderettes is going to be number two, Kate Moore, Jr. She's going to replace Kara Greenwell. So on the floor, you've got Spalding, Hilton, Moore, Borders, Riley, and Warner for the Commanderettes. Taken by Hilton, pushed over, dug out by Spalding. Warner puts it over. And Ella Lewis with the kill. Timeout, Washington County. That'll be their final timeout of the match as they find themselves down 11. Late in this third set. Down 11 in the set. Two matches down.
Back to action. I think they called a timeout just to give Madison a little love. Madison Hilton, a senior on this year's team. She has played for four years, has given it everything, a lot of leadership on this year's team. Her leadership will be missed. Kate Moore on the play. Lizzie Riley on the hit, handled by Central Harden. Point, Washington County. Madison Hilton again, a senior. Four-year starter, I believe, for this Washington County team. Um, congratulations. We will talk to Madison, as she will be our player of the game, atmosphere entertainment player of the game. Tonight we'll talk to Coach Rogers and we'll talk to Madison. That score is 24-13, and it's the game point down for Central Harden. And for Central Harden is Tori Steele. And back to serve is going to be Allie Simpson. Game point. Match point. Keep playing. That ball's out. It's never too late to make a run. Madison Hilton is going to get a standing ovation from this Washington County crowd. It's Kate Moore checks in for her and Abby Warner on the serve. That ball's in, and that's going to do it. And Central Harden's going to move on to play the winner of our next game. Your final set goes. Central Harden wins 14. Or, excuse me, 25 to 14. And that's going to end Washington County's season in the re fifth region finals. So we're going to take just a little break. We're going to transition. I'm going to grab a mic. I'm going to go to the floor, and I'm going to grab a player and a coach. Big round of applause for these Washington County girls. We'll wrap this game up. Coach, not the outcome you wanted. The first first set went, you know, it was nip tuck, and then oh, yeah. Central Harden laid it on that next set, and mm -hmm. it was tough to come back from that. Oh yeah, we we fought hard in the first game, and the, the girls, you know, things that we can control, we talk about, is attitude and effort, and I thought we controlled that all the way through. I agree. Uh, enthusiasm was there. You know, sometimes you just run into, you know, somebody tough yeah. and Central Harden's tough we gave them all they wanted first game you know you give us a, a point here or there and we take that first game puts all the pressure on them could change the whole night but that's just the way it goes I, I'm happy with the effort and I think the girls are still in a good place uh, and and you know I'm, I'm proud of the fans and we, I think the girls represented Washington County really well I think so too you had you know biggest biggest group of fans that we have out here is you've got Marion County and them on the court next but you know you it, it was tough, but you see that, in that late in that second set is Central Hard had several players on the floor diving for balls that yes, yes. I thought were down. You, that's you see that's, that's what it takes to be the 13th yeah, team in the nation. Maximum effort, you know. You just gotta value every single point, and and Central Harden does. And we're starting to understand that a lot better. That one to one, we need to blow the roof off the place. You know, you can't wait till it's 20 to 20 to start giving your best effort, because then it might not be ever be 20 to 20. Right. All right. It's just maximum effort all the time. And, and we're, we're getting there, you know, and this is a good bunch. I'm, I'm proud to coach them. I'm sure everybody's proud of them in Wash County. We've got great fan support. You can't say enough about them. And uh, Anita does a great job on the bench. It's just a good situation to be in. Uh, I wouldn't trade Wash County job for any of them. Well, good. Let's talk just briefly about Madison Hilton, your lone senior this year. You're going to miss her leadership this oh, year because yeah. you can see it on the floor. The girls respond to her. Oh, yeah. She's calling a lot of the plays that is. She's your quarterback. Exactly. Quarterbacks that defense. And, you know, when you get that kid that that asks everybody else to go, she better be willing to go herself. Yep. And nobody hit the floor before Madison hit the floor. So she, she leads by example. All the girls respect her. You know, she knows, she knows how to play. 
uh, knows how to relate to all the girls from the freshmen all the way up to the juniors that she's been with for years. And I know she's disappointed, but she's got to be proud of, of the body of work she's put in at Washington County. I'm sure she is. Coach, we're going to get you back there and let you talk to your girls. If you'll send Madison up top to where she's sure our will. player of the game, we want to give talk to her for just a minute. Sure but will. good luck. Thank you, Coach, and uh, good luck. And, hey, you, you can have to rest the night off, but guess what? Next <laughs> season starts uh, tomorrow. Yeah, All right. Coach Rogers, head coach of the Washington County Commanderettes. Again, they fall uh, three sets to zero. We will bring uh, we'll bring Madison up with us here momentarily, and uh, we'll give us a talk real quick. Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, that, that, I was a little, a little sore there anyway. So we're going to take a break. We're going to get set back up. And, uh, again, Washington County falls in the semifinals of the fifth region. Well, we do have player of the game, Madison Hilton, the lone senior on this year's team. You know, tough loss, semifinals of the region, but how proud of you are this year's team? Beyond proud. I didn't really think we'd make it this far, and we did. <laughs> I think we proved a lot of people wrong, and I think we proved ourselves wrong. So, uh, you know, being the only senior on the team, it's, it's tough. You know, you, you're looked at as the leader and the team mom and everything from time to time. And, uh, you know, what, what do we have to look forward to next year with this team? Um, we have we just have a really strong team, you know. I mean, even though I'm the only senior, you know, they only lost one person, so they'll be strong coming back into the season. What's your favorite memory of playing volleyball at Washington County over the last four years? Probably, I don't know. I guess just goofing off before the games and dancing, and then I think this is probably, you know, top memory. <laughs> well, you know, leaving in the semifinals of fifth region, that's that's kind of fun to do. Yeah, it is. All right, well, I told you I wouldn't keep you long. Congratulations. Good luck to you. And, uh, again, the Atmosphere Entertainment Player of the Game, our lone senior, Madison Hilton. We'll be right back. We're going to catch Marion County's head coach, Mr. David Hibbert.
We'll step right up here. Nobody steps in front of us. Coach, how are you? Welcome in uh, semifinals of fifth region. Washington County couldn't keep it be from being an all 17th district final, and uh, we kind of like to see Marion County do that. That'd be awesome. We're uh, E Town's tough opponent, but we're ready for them. I think we got a good scout on them, so we're going to go ahead and see what we can do against them. Of course, uh, Marion County, now the 20th district. Uh, I've got so many districts running my head. Overall record 19 and 18, 8 yep. and 10 in the region, 5 and 3 in the district. Yep. E Town comes in ranked number 17 in the state, 20 and 9. Record 15 and one in the region and nine and one in the district. It's a good, tough, tough game tonight. Tough game. They got a lot of offense. They run it through, of course, their big uh, middle number 11. She's kind of their go-to, and she's going to put a lot of pressure on us. Our defense got to be on its toes because if not, she'll hurt us all night long. What player for Marion County do we need to watch tonight? Who's got to play well for Marion County to get the win? Uh, our opposite middle number two, Marianne May. She's a senior. She's been our best player all year, and she's got to go up defensively and handle number 11 a little bit and then be ready to transition into some offense for us and score us some points. Short ride over tonight of your girls. They seem pretty relaxed and ready to go. So hey, it should we're be playing a good on house money tonight. So this is this is free stuff. We're going after it. Well, uh, again, we're going to stay and do your all's game tonight. Wish you all the best of luck, Thanks, and sir. we'll catch you after the game. We'll have a player game on your side too. Thank so, you. Coach David Hibbard, head coach of the Marion County Lady Knights, as they come in, they're going to try to keep this from being an all 17th district out of the E Town and <coughs> Central Harden group uh, tonight. So we'd love to see that. You know, anytime we can keep Marion and Washington County. Of course, we want to see Washington County there, but they're not going to make it as they fall tonight 0-3. So we're about, give or take, 10 minutes from game. Uh, again, share us off our Facebook page. Let us know you're watching. Comment. Help me out. Uh, it struggles sometimes. You know, I knew a lot of the last players, but I don't know a lot of them on this one. So we'll see where it goes, and we'll be back at Nelson County High School momentarily for the final semi-region of the fifth region watch, uh, volleyball action.
All right, guys, we're back to action here at Nelson County High School for the women's volleyball fifth region second semifinal game as the Washington County Commanderettes fall in the first one to Central Harden. Um, Washington County fell 26-24, 25-14, and 25-14 in three straight sets um, against the 13th-ranked team in the state. So very commendable effort by the Commanderettes. They're not happy, but uh, as Coach Rogers said, beginning of that one, you know, they weren't really expecting to be here this year, but they you can guarantee they made the most of the learning experience and uh, getting into the routine and will be probably favorite uh, to be back here next year. So that brings us up to our nightcap tonight, and that is the Marion County Lady Knights and the Elizabethtown Lady Panthers. David Hibbers is the coach of Marion County. They come in with a record of 19 and 18. Elizabethtown Lady Panthers uh, come in with a record of 29 and 9 and are coached by Bart Catlett. So we'll put the let, – let's look and see how everybody kind of stacks up this year. As you kind of look, Central Harden and E-Town are at the top of the fifth region. Then you slip on down five or six spots, and you've got Marion County and a couple more you've got Washington County. So it's the top of the bracket against the middle of the bracket here. Uh, again, I think a lot of people expected Taylor County and Barstown to be in the mix, uh, Thomas Nelson – and, and some of those, but they're, they're not here. It, you're down to three teams. Marion County trying to play 17th District Spoiler as both the Central Harden Lady Bruins and Lady Panthers are in the 17th District. So, again, very very good teams. Uh, also ranked in the state, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention Bartstown. The third team on that is ranked number 21 in the state. That's based on the max prep polls that I saw this afternoon. So, we'll take a look at the starting lineups. First, we will look for... Elizabethtown, and uh, they've got a freshman number one, Presley Payne, a senior number three, Kate Prather, a senior number five, Anna Thomas, a senior number 10, Sailor Sandlin, and a senior number 11, Morgan Gaddis, a senior number 14, Kayla Pence, a junior number 18, Caitlin Denon, a freshman number 20, Elizabeth Godfrey, a sophomore number 23, Sydney Clark, a senior number 24, Maddie Redding, and a sophomore number 35, Mary Wheatley. Also on the roster, some sophomores and juniors, Indi India Bradley, Zoe Edlin, Miranda Garrison, Jada Porner, and Bailey Thomas. Unable to get all those numbers off the KHSA website today. So now we'll take a look at the starting line or the lineup for the Marion County Lady Knights. And uh, I see a lot more girls than I have numbers, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, most important player is Coach... Um, David Hibbard said was number two, Marianne May. She's a senior middle hitter for this team. Uh, another senior, number seven, Bella Glasscock. A junior, number 11, Kelly Miles. A freshman, number 14, Addison Gordon. A junior, number 15, Sarah Clark. Number 21, Callie Gribbins is a senior. Number 22, Chloe May is another senior. A junior, number 24, Madison Richards. A senior, number 25, Harmony Lanham. A senior, number 27, Taylor Fields. A freshman, number 30, Maggie Overstreet. And eighth grader, number 31, Emmett Sullivan. And rounding out the lineup I have, number a sophomore, number 35, Jenna Mattingly. So we are about four and a half minutes to go before we start this one. Uh, we'll be here for this one. We will kind of treat Marion County as your home squad here. Um, I don't know what the scoreboard's going to look like. But um, we'll be back to action here in a minute. As you kind of see on the court, they're taking some of the last uh, lineup. Lineups and hits on the floor, trying to get ready for this fifth region action. So back in a moment, here on Washington County Broadcast Facebook Television. We've got to find a name for this. Back in a moment, ladies and gentlemen.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. I believe we have a minute. But the, the warm-up sets for volleyball are not the same as they are for everything else. So, nonetheless, uh, we should be ready for the starting lineup here momentarily. Uh, I did want to take a moment to talk about November 17th, we will ha be having our second annual Commander Madness at the Washington County High School, sponsored by Atmosphere Entertainment at Washington County High School. Um, How Good and uh, Mike FM is going to be in the building. They're going to do some interviews. It'll be on radio. Of course, WCTV Facebook Live version will be there broadcasting if you can't make it out. But we'd love to have a big crowd uh, supporting Lena Bramlett and head coach Bernard Smalley as they welcome, as we introduce the 2017-2018 version of the Commanders and the Commanderettes basketball season. So, um, you know, it's, it's about that time. It's getting a little cooler outside, so we quit playing football and we start playing basketball. So that will happen at the high school, November the 17th. Uh, I think the time is going to be around 7 o'clock. I don't know if we've got an exact time yet, but that's the last we've heard. We've got some meetings coming up on that uh, over the next week or so. Um, Nicole Wilson does a great job of setting that up um, as they put five minutes on the clock here. So, again, I can't keep up with how they do their warm-ups. It confuses me. It doesn't take much, though. So, again, we'll recap the Washington County game. Uh, Washington County, you know, was in a tough spot as they come in with a record of, I think, 12 and – or 15 and 21. Um, you know, they finished second in their district. Barstown was the uh, number one seed out of the 19th district. Uh, Central Harden, 13th team in the state. And, uh, you know, just – they were they weren't happy to be here, but they were playing loose. It was, it was their game to see what happens. And Central Harden kind of proved why they're – uh, in the spot they are and ready to go back to the state tournament. So on the court now, you've got E-Town. Um, you know, I read off a lot of senior names and a lot of junior names on this team. Um, they've got they've got some depth on this team. Again, ranked 17th in the state. Marion County is going to come in with a record of 19 and 18. Um, and they, they finished second in their district. Uh, I think I look back. I think Washington County played Marion County. They hadn't played uh, Central or E-Town, but Washington County, I think, beat Marion County earlier in the year. So we've got about 3.45 to go before we start the final semifinal here tonight. Uh, I would like to congratulate our fans, uh, a lot of parents and a lot in the building, but we by far have the biggest crowd that's been in this building tonight. We finished. We had most of the section right behind our bench set up. Uh, again, the player of the game was Madison Hilton, a senior on this year's team. She's leaving it. The program in good hands is there's seven juniors on this team. And, you know, a lot of juniors that played a lot of time, as you look at Andrea Clemens and, you uh, you know, Elizabeth Riley. Um, Kay Taylor got some uh, quite a few minutes in there. So it's it's going to be just fine. I, I suspect we're going to be doing this, this same game next year uh, and look to play one more night. Heck, let's play five or six more nights and uh, just win the whole thing. So we'll take a break. We'll come back in a couple minutes and uh, pull up the starting lineups, and we'll get our last game underway. Thank you for joining us. Again, share our page. Let everybody know you're watching. Like Washington County School Districts. Let them know you're out there. Um, you know, it's fan support's what gives us the ability to bring these games. We do it because you all watch it. So once again, back in a minute.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Nelson County High School for the semifinals of the 5th Region Women's Volleyball Tournament. Our second game tonight is between the E-Town Lady Panthers and the Marion County Lady Knights. John Graves here with you courtside. I want to thank our sponsor tonight, Atmosphere Entertainment, for giving us the ability to come over about 19 seconds ago. Also want to thank Matt Smith, our producer. Mike Cyphers on the camera tonight. Uh, Jackson Graves is going to do stats for me if he knows what he's doing. If he don't, we'll make them up as we go along. So he says he doesn't. So I, no stats. Stat-free game. We're just going to kind of see what happens. Uh, second semifinal tonight. If you're just joining us, Washington County was uh, unable to defeat the Central Harden Bruins. And uh, we'll kind of pinch into the PA announcer and kind of get the starting lineups for Elizabethtown and Marion County. Again, Marion County coached by David Hibbert, 1918. Marion County will be the visitors on the scoreboard. I'm trying to grab some numbers here. Marion County beat LaRue County to get here last night. They're, we've gone through the lineups. They're bringing in the uh, subs for tonight's game. And then we'll look at our starting lineups. Marianne May, number two, a senior for this Marion County team. Bella Glasscock, number seven, another senior. Addison Gordon, number 14, she's a freshman for this Marion County team. Sarah Clark, number 15, a junior. Number 22, Chloe May, a senior on this year team. And number 27, Taylor Fields. And Maggie Overstreet, a freshman on this year team. So Little, little youth, little some seniors and some freshmen on this year's team. So, again, you got Bella Glasscock, Addison Gordon, Chloe May, Taylor Fields, and Maggie Overstreet, and Sarah Clark. Now we'll look for E-Town in their starting lineup. Their, their numbers. Kate Prater, a senior for this year's team. Sailor Sandlin, a senior for this E-Town team. Number 11, Morgan Gaddis. Number 20, Elizabeth Godfrey. Number 23, Sydney Clark. Number 24, Maddie Redding. And the libero is number 5, Anna Thomas. So there's your starting lineups. Final instructions for Marion County. This winner of this game will be against Central Harden. The game will be at 6.30 here at Nelson County High School. I think I've got football practice tomorrow night. Washington County's out. So we'll let another fifth region school come over and do this. You know, the other one that has a setup like we – hold on. There's not one. There's not one. Washington County School District has got the best tech department in the state. And, got, guys, I, I do this for free. They're not paying me to say this. It's, it's what I believe. So, always fun to work with these guys. Again, if you're just coming in and kind of watching and seeing what's going on or you're just passing by my page and we're, I'm not at a Target tonight. We'll go that route. I am at Nelson County High School. But this is not – this is not church league volleyball. This is uh, this is this is real stuff. I don't want to take anything away from church league volleyball. Not saying that, but uh, these girls, they hit this ball and they go at this with a full force. I think we've got more kids in street clothes. All right, there we go. They're going to the stands. Again, keys to the game per Coach Hibbert is. Marianne May's got to have a big game. And I can't remember which one they said they had to stop, but I'm pretty sure it was Kate Prather for E-Town. So Kate Prather needs to have a bad game for E-Town. 
Marion County needs to have a great game out of Marion May. So we're set up. We're just about ready to go. Serving first is going to be Marion County. Cut the music off. Let's go. And back serving is going to be Bella Glasscock. And our second semifinal is underway. Floats one over. Dug by E-Town. Pulled out by Overstreet. Float to the back part of the corner. That's going to be a point for Sailor Sandlin. one nothing. E-Town. Going to rearrange some furniture here. Move the cart behind them. Different set of referees on this one. Sailor on the on the serve. Point Marion County. Marion May. I don't have an official height on her, but I'm going to say she runs about 6'2". Some of these Marion County girls I was got to know this summer as they were in the Distinguished Young Women program. Net. They're going to say Chloe May come over and touch the net. It's going to give the ball back to Elizabethtown. Serving for them is going to be Morgan Gaddis. Two one. Elizabethtown. Dug out on that one is going to be Taylor Fields. Four hits, three to one. Elizabethtown. We will be talking to the coach and player of the game after this game. That's going to be out. Side out, Marion County, 3-2. to two. May will have a seat. Coming in for Marion County will be number 15, Sarah Clark. Maggie Overstreet, the freshman. Libero back on the serve. Handled by E-Town's Libero. That ball is going to be out. Marion County is going to tie it up. They are the visitor on the scoreboard. Overstreet's going to serve again. Overstreet floats one over. Dug out by Anna Thomas. Dug, nice dig by Bella Glasscock and handled by May. That ball is going to be out. Overstreet sends one live. You know, one thing that's going to help me tonight with Marion County is they have their names on the back of their jerseys. It's easier when Washington County because I know most of them. So, serving. Ooh. I couldn't see if that was in and out. Hold on. We're going to watch it and see. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I like to see anyway. Great camera work by Mike Cyphers. Couldn't tell. E-Town on the offense. Gordon goes back in the crowd to get that one, and Overstreet puts it over. Dig out. Dug by Fields. Gordon on the attack. Good spot as Sarah Clark finds the floor. Marion County is going to check two girls in. It's going to be number 21, Callie Gribbins, and number 24, Madison Richard. A Scribbins is a senior, Richards is a junior, and Richards is going to serve. 5-4, Elizabethtown. <laughs> Elizabeth Godfrey pounds one home for Elizabethtown. Garners them to serve back. On the floor for Marion County is Gribbins, Overstreet, Gordon, Richards and Fields. Overstreet takes the dig. Richards with it. And Overstreet's going to float it over. E-Town digs it out. Ah, Overstreet, hard to handle. 
It's tough. You've got a split second to kind of make a decision on which way to go. Kate Prather serving for Elizabethtown. Puts it over to Richards. Gordon's got it. Over street. Floats it over. Set. Blocked by Gribbins. Over street with it. Richards to the set. Gordon with a kill. Doesn't get it to fall down. In the net is going to be who they're going to call on that one. I think they're going to get Gordon within the net. Oh, that's going to give it back to E-Town, 8-4. E-Town lead, Prather with it. Richards to Gordon. Gordon tries to slide one over and unable to. E-Town digs it out. And again, Elizabeth Godfrey able to find one home. Kate Prather. I'm betting that is Joe Prather's granddaughter. Secretary of Transportation under Bashir's first administration. So I saw Secretary Prather here earlier. Double hit. I know what that means now. She didn't get her hands set before she handled the ball. Timeout, Marion County. 10-4 lead by Elizabethtown. Marion County's not been as crisp tonight as I think they would like. E-Town serving the ball. They're getting the digs and they're putting putting it on the back row. Once again, back in action, first set tonight. You know, there's a couple of Washington County alums on that bench for Marion County. Jordan Rennell, Kelly Hill, both graduates of Washington County. Gribbins tries to slide one over, unable to. Dug out. Clark pushes one over. Dug out, and they're going to set it up. Marion County's going to get the point. Double hit by E-Town. I'm pretty sure now that my memory serves me, I think David Hibbert was worried a little bit about Godfrey. As she's, they, they, a lot of their offense goes through her. Addison Gordon on the serve. Godfrey on the kill. Out. Marion County. Six, Elizabethtown ten. Can I beg everybody's pardon as I'm trying to kind of catch, switch gears and catch names up here? So I know some of these girls from Marion County. Into the net, Marion County scores. Sydney Clark unable to push it down. And if I have any E Town fans watching, I apologize. Marion County is a little closer to the house. Gordon on the serve. Hits Ridding in a tough spot. Richard sets it. They're going to call. They're going to call Elizabethtown in the net. And you know, it's one thing we couldn't get Washington County to do in those last two sets was make a run. And it's exactly what Marion County's done is they put three points on the board. Gordon serves. 10-8. E-Town. Nobody wanted it. It's got to go over. Dig out by Gordon. That ball's going to be out. A little bit tough for Taylor Fields. She went from one side of the floor to the other. And that's going to bring up Anna Thomas, senior to serve the libero for Elizabethtown. Maggie Overstreet takes it. Richards. Gribbins floats one over and finds one home. Nice game. 11-9. Marion County holding tight. Chloe Mays coming back in, and Maggie Overstreet's going to have a seat. And that's going to put Sarah Clark back on the serve. Down with the dig. Nice hit. Morgan Gaddis, strong. 
on the floor. And Clark's going to come out. And Overstreet's going to come back in. Elizabeth Godfrey on the serve. Gordon on the dig. Gribbins. That's going to be a double hit. Now it's Carey. I can't keep up. And it's my fault. I got to do my homework better. Fields on the dig. Richards and May with it. In. David Hibbert did not like that call. Was was that out? Let's see. I'm I'm watch I watch on my phone, so I gotta get a little replay. So you all watch this one. I'll see if they made the right call or the wrong call. E Town on the score. That was in. That was in. I mean, he's standing right there. If he misses that one, man, we need to switch jobs. E Town on the score. Ace. Elizabeth Town. 16 9. Marion County's going to take a timeout. Probably a good timeout. You know, they cut it to two at 11 to 9, and then E Town uh, showed why they're in the semifinals. And Rang off five straight points. I don't know what's worse. You know, Washington County in that first set, the tight game, nip, nip tuck all the way, and, you know, it was kind of tough. But I don't think you want to let the first one get away from you very bad. That'd be tough to that'd be tough to handle. Nice Wednesday night crowd here at Nelson County. This is a big gym, so it's everybody kind of spread out. It's, it's tough sometimes to tell how many people's actually here. Great night to sit home and eat chili and watch Facebook. Excellent night for that. You know I'm going to have to stop at Wendy's and get chili, right? But the third time I've said that. And we're back to action. May tries to put one down, unable to. Comes over the net. She didn't touch it. She put it down. May came with a point. Marion County with a serve as Bella Glasscock is going to come in. Serve. Gribbins is going to have a seat. Richards is going to have a seat. So you got Fields over Street. Gordon, May. May and Glasscock and a chicken is in the building. Okay, digs. Good dig by Overstreet. Fields with it. Good anticipation by Morgan Gaddis. 17-10, Elizabethtown. Elizabethtown was the number two seed out of the 17th district, so I'm sure they'll be glad. They want they want another shot at Central Harden. For sure. Gordon on the dig. Fields pushes over. The ball's not going to make it. A point Marion County. 18-11 is your score and Fields with a serve. Ooh, I don't think any of that's legal. That's about as sloppy as E-Town looked tonight. When the referee ends up with the ball, I don't think it's a good thing. Nice block by May. Timeout. Central Harden. Marion County's making a little bit of run. I think it got to 18 to 10. Marion County puts three points on the board. E Town coach Bart. Catlett. Just want to make sure he's got his team in sequence. Quiet crowd here tonight. No band. 
I'm scared. I'm, I'm scared to talk too loud myself. I may have turned volume up. People can hear me. I want to thank George Graves and Jennifer Dean for watching. Carl Burton. Somebody just liked something. I see a blue hand go across the screen. If you got any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to make up an answer for them, or we'll talk about something else, and I'll completely ignore the question. Fields on the serve. Overstreet on the dig. Glasscock. May. May. Overstreet. May on the dig. Glasscock. May. Marion County Point. We don't get a lot of those where they go back and forth, but they're fun to watch. 14-18 Marion County. This is a solid Marion County team. They were put out of the district uh, by Taylor County. Taylor County won the 20th district. Oh. Addison Gordon unable to handle that one. Checking in for the Panthers, number 23, Sidney Clark, I think. Back serving, number 11, Morgan Gaddis. 1914. It's a low line driver. May with it. She puts one a little hot to the floor. 1915, Marion County not done. This game's going to be, this whole set's going to be a game of runs. It's going to be whoever can get the run, the, la the last run. It's fun to watch. Good dig. Tipped over. Nice point, Sailor Sandlin. I think I understand why y'all are laughing. Whoever gets the runs the last. <laughs> Again, I don't pay attention to what I say most of the time. I apologize. Either that, we're all slap happy. Pamela Garten, no, Washington did not win. They lost three straight sets to Central Harden. They lost, if I can find my paper, they lost 26-24, 25-14, 25-14 to end their season. Gribbins. Puts it out there. Gribbins digs again. Richards is going to set it up. And Gordon's going to try to do something with it. And does. 20-17. to 17, Marion County. I'll tell you what. You can put a bunch of seniors on this team. But uh, Miss Addison Gordon and Miss Maggie Overstreet can hang right with them. Serve Marion County over by Madison Richards. Not able to get to it. Just off the tips of Maggie Overstreet. It's going to be. Elizabeth Godfrey's kill. It's again upcoming for Washington County TV, Facebook Live version. Um, we're looking at basketball schedules coming up. will be Commander Madness on November the 17th. We know for sure. Stay tuned to figure out if the Washington County football playoff game. There's just a lot going on with Washington County Athletics right now. Gordon unable to keep one in the playing court. 22-17. Five-point E-Town lead as Kate Prather walks back for the serve. Point, Marion County. Gordon on the rotation. She'll be back to serve. Second time she served in this match. Checking in for the Panthers. Kayla Peace. Having a seat is going to be Kate Brather. Courtney Sullivan says that Marion County needs to put in Emma Sullivan. Hmm. Now, I wonder why you would say that. I mean, I don't know. They might need to. 23-18, five-point Marion County lead. Got to be honest, first time I've seen Marion County play this year. Block. Ooh, they're going to say it was blocked out of bounds. Marion County's going to get the point, 23-19. And I'm sad to say, if i got to be completely honest, this is the first time I've seen Washington County play this year. So, 
Into the net. That's served by Richards. Clark, excuse me. Once again, you can, for all of our Marion County fans, you can share this page with your Marion County faithful. For those who are not able to make it, they can watch it for right here. Spot found. Morgan Gaddis. Timeout. No, game. That's it. So the first one's going to go to E Town. 25 to 19. So we got about three minutes. We'll take a break as well. Back to action, set number two. E-Town takes that first set. 25-19, Norma Goo joins us from Texas to Kentucky. If you're watching, comment where you're watching from. Let me know who's out here watching with me. I see all eight of you. <laughs> all ten. So, let me know where you're watching from. What are we waiting on? I said I was ready. Da na 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 na. All right, back to action. Here we go. Now we're ready. E Town on your left, Marion County on your right. May tries to slam one home and it's tipped. Vicki Perkins is watching. Vicki, I think, is watching from Florida. Vicki Perkins would be the grandmother of number 14, Addison Gordon. I think I heard that Vicki and David were in Florida. Michael Spalding, Marion County alumni, watching in Versailles, Kentucky. Thank you, sir. Oh, May, unable. Mary Ann May, unable to throw one down. So what do we got? They're going to give the point to E-Town. That's what I thought we was doing. I'm glad we got this guy over here beside us. He, he can help the referees. All right, 1-1. One, one. Tie ball game. 
all that, and Mary County is going to get served back. I have a block. Good block by Gordon. Falls in. Point Marion County. Jackson Graves is watching from Nelson County High School gym. <laughs> Literally sitting right beside me. Thanks, Jackson. He's trying to get his double digits. Marianne May on the serve. Marianne May on the dig. Block by Sydney Clark for E Town. Marion County holding a one point lead, three to two. But E Town with the serve. Maddie Redding. That was going to be in. Glasscock. Set. Prather on the hit. Maggie Overstreet on the dig. Godfrey. I don't think that's exactly what she wanted to do. In for Marion County will be Richards and Gribbins. Coming out will be May and Glasscock, I believe. Yes. Again, I'm thankful Marion County put their name on the back of their jerseys. Dig out by Thomas. Dig out by Overstreet. She pops it all the way over the net. Godfrey on it. Dig out by Overstreet. Gordon with it. Pushed over by Clark. They're going to go back to... Who got that one? Clark on the kill. 5-2 Marion County. A little life coming in. Back to serve is going to be Madison Richards for Marion County. Floats one deep. Prather with it. Unable to take it out over the net. You got to go over. You can't go through. 6-2 Marion County. Richards on the serve. Oh, center court is going to be Godfrey on that one. On the court for Marion County is going to be Gordon, Richards, Gribbins, Clark, Overstreet, and Field. 7-3 Marion County as Addison Gordon is back serving. And close one to the middle. Godfrey. Dug out by Overstreet. Set up for Fields. That was a block. That's a legal play. Ah. Marion County quit playing for just a minute. And Godfrey was able to send one over. 7-4. Marion County. Thomas with the serve for E-Town. Dig by Overstreet. Double hit. Dig out by Fields. And Richards unable to do anything with the dig. Timeout Marion County. Tight ball game. Marion County is up 7-6 to six in this one. Kind of a little sloppy here on both sides of the net in this second set. Again, first set went to E-Town, 25-19. to 19. We're in set number two. Games go best of five. First four games will go to 25, must win by two. Last game goes to 15, must win by two. Playing in the semifinals. Finals will be tomorrow night here at Nelson County High School, 6.30. I don't guess it's a tip time, is it? It's not really a tip, is it? I don't know. 6.30 serve time. 
Game time. There you go. Set time. Set match. I don't know. Thomas on the serve. Fields unable to handle it. Ace. E-Town. 7-7. Seven, seven, and E-Town with the ball. Marine County's got a nice contingent here tonight. Just kind of spread out a little bit. Dig out. Gribbins. She palmed that one. I think she was going to dunk it. Thomas has garnered about four straight points here, if uh, memory serves me correctly. Overstreet with the dig. Gribbins. Overstreet's going to have to go get it and get it over and get out of Coach Hibbard's way. And goes right back at Gaddis. Goes right back at Overstreet. Tipped by Gaddis. And Gaddis goes back and unable to handle it is going to be Sarah Clark. And it's going to be a 10 7 score for E Town. Thomas has been back there for a while. She's five or six points in on this serve. Fields with the dig. Ooh, puts it too close to the net. I don't know. Who did they give that point to? If they, they've not signaled I guess they're going to give the point to Marion Kane they're giving them the serve huh all right you wearing the white shirt. You got the whistle. Clark on the serve. Floats one deep. Gaddis with a little punch over. And Richards unable to do anything with it. Gives it back to Godfrey. She serves it. Gribbins floats one over. Handled and pushed over very quickly by Sailor Sandlin. Tricky little play there. Jackson, don't tear the whole place down trying to do this. Don't go underneath there. I'm about out of cell phone battery, so I'm going to have to rearrange a couple things here. Whoever said these phones were cordless were wrong. They're cordless for about a half a day. Once again, if you're watching, tell me where you're watching from and who you're cheering for. Somebody called a timeout. And E-Town has taken a quick 14-8 lead. E-Town played last night. They're playing tonight. They're going to have a quick turnaround to play tomorrow. Marion County fans trying to get their crew pumped up. About a 45-minute drive from Marion County High School over here tonight. E-Town's probably, probably 30, 35-minute drive for them. Every time we've been to – Nelson County does a good job of hosting. You all never did find the hospitality room, though, did you? You all got to get on this hospitality room thing. We talked about this during basketball last year. I always find it quickly. <laughs> I check in with you all, and then I go find a hospitality room when I'm doing a region or a district. <laughs> we can make some. Yeah, let's make some. Let, we need to make some press tags. Marion County on a point. This is harder to keep score up on the board because you got to do it one at a time, isn't it? you got to pay attention, don't you? Marion County on the serve, down five. Oh, Gaddis with authority. She's tall. 
We need heights on these people. <laughs> Over Street on the dig. Over to Glasscock to May. She hits it about the block of the basketball court. 16-9 E-Town and Sailor Sandlin on the serve. Sandlin. Gordon. May with the push. Ah, Glasscock unable to handle it. The Prather kill. 17-9. Elizabethtown. Into the net. 17-10 and Marion County with the serve. I think officially I'm supposed to serve. Marion County serving 10-17. Entering the game for Marion County is going to be Jenny Mattingly, a sophomore. She's going to come in and serve. Having a seat is going to be Kelly Miles. Nice little... Knuckleball. A little double. Marion County. I won't say run. I'll say a continuous string of points. Is that better, Mike? Oh. May tries to float one over. Gaddis puts one over. Mattingly goes to the floor, but unable to handle it. 18-11. Elizabethtown, and Gaddis is going to be serving. Number two seed, Marion County. This is number one seed, E-Town. Glasscock to May. Floats one to Gaddis. Overstreet can't handle the kill from Redding. Of course, all of your top district team, all your district winners are a one seed, and all your runner-ups in the district are a two seed, just like basketball. Then they will have a blind draw for the pairings, and then we play ball. 19-11, Gaddis serving for E-Town. Out. 19-12. Marion County serving and May. Marianne May back to serve for Marion County. I'm seeing the same energy out of Marion County this set as I was in the first one. May tries to slide one in. And Redding puts one home. 20 to 12. County's running out of time. Redding back with the serve. Maddie Redding for Elizabethtown. Senior. Floats one over. Taken by Mattingly. Over to May. Over Street on the dig. To Glasscock. To Gordon with the kill. We will be choosing a player of the game for Marion County. Do we have a poll set up for that or are we just going to take comments? Just do comments. All right, so if you want to vote for player of the game, try to help me decide, that's fine. Just comment with your player. We'll try to keep up with it. If she didn't touch it, but she did. She didn't mean to, though. Madison Richards couldn't handle one, and E-Town gets a point, 21-13. Tina Hilton is watching. Her daughter was player of the game for the Washington County. Madison Hilton, a senior on Washington County. Atmosphere Entertainment player of the game. Come miss watching Madison play. Ribbons. Set over by Sarah Clark. Blocked by Gribbins and Clark. Overstreet on the dig. Set it up for Gordon. She floats one. Oh, slid under. Godfrey tries to send one 
Overstreet on the dig. Clark gets one, and that one's in, and Mary Kelly's going to get the points. A little bit more liveliness, enthusiasm out of Marion County. I just hope it's not too little too late. Gordon on the serve. Net. 23 to 14, and Thomas is back to serve. Thomas rang off about seven straight points while ago. Thomas, overstreet on the dig. Richard takes it, sends it to Miles. Miles tries to kill, is not able to. Godfrey floats one over. They're going to say that Morgan Gaddis was in the net, I believe. May back in. And Sarah Clark on the serve. May finds one. Is that Godfrey, or Prather, excuse me, for E-Town kind of set one a little high. 23-16, E-Town. Some of the E-Town fans on to my right wasn't crazy about that one. Prather, Godfrey, blocked. Gribbins on the block, unable to completely get it down. And it's game point for E-Town. And Godfrey's going to be back on the serve. 24-16, second set. Marion County's already lost the first set, 25-19. Godfrey on the serve. Gribbins on the dig. Richards, Gribbins. Kind of dug out of the net. Miles on it. That ball stays up. 25-16. E-Town's going to win the second set. Very similar to our first game tonight. As Marion County's kind of dug themselves a hole. They're going to have to come out with a little bit more energy in this second, third frame. Now I will say, Marion County against LaRue to get here. Lost the first set. Let's see, today's today's the 25th, right? So Marion County last night lost the first set 20 to 25 against Larue. Lost the second set 17 25. Then come back and went 25 21, 25 19, and 15 to nine to win the game. So they've been in this situation before. Now looking at the rankings, at least I did some homework today. LaRue County was 20 and 17. I think E-Town may be a little bit more than than what LaRue County was. So we'll take a break and we'll be back in action momentarily. Back in action, third set of the second game of the semifinals of the fifth region here at Nelson County High School. Glasscock on the serve. Pushed over, May handles it. Glasscock comes to get it, and Overstreet floats one deep. 
Oh, May pushes one over. Floated one, and Glasscock gets it, and they're going to give point for a double hit to E-Town. E-Town with the serve. Glasscock digs out net, and May's going to... She tried to send one over. She can, her arm, she's tall enough just to hit one straight over the net. Just blocked by E-Town. Two to nothing, E-Town, with, and with a serve. Floats one, short to Glasscock. May puts one hard, and Godfrey digs it out. Redding's going to grab it. Glasscock on the dig. May to May. Finds the floor. Two to one. Marion County will have the serve. Fields serving for David Hibberds. Three to two, Marion County with the serve as Fields. Hold on. He's got his flag waving back here. What do he do? Huh? Oh. Gordon had to tie a shoe. Prather on the kill. Three three. Gaddis with the serve. Overstreet with the dig. Glasscock to May. Marion County, 4-3. Overstreet's out. Clark's in. May, Marianne May with the serve. May to Thomas. Point Marion County. Well, I know the ref's name now. <laughs> May with the serve. Floats one. Godfrey digs. Fields unable to handle it. Maddie Redding back to serve. Clark, Sandlin pushes one over. Fields to May. Overstreet says she's got it. Thomas has got it. Sandlin to Godfrey to Overstreet. Sandlin, they're going to call a double. 6-4, Marion County. Richards and Gribbins coming in. May and Glasscock's going out. Again, if you want to help pick a player of the game, that is fine. Just add in the comments. Is anybody comment? No. Just add in the comments. We'll be glad to. We'll be glad to put one in. Put a vote in anyway. You may if you comment right now. You may have the deciding vote. Six five Marion County. Prather with the serve. Overstreet, Gribbins, or Gordon, excuse me. Ah. Thin line. Miss Reed is watching. Hello, Miss Reed. Overstreet with the dig. Gribbins with the push. Sandlin 
to Godfrey. She didn't hit that. It hit him. He's out of bounds. How'd that happen? 7-6, E-Town with the lead. First time they've led in this third set. Gordon on the dig. Over to Richards, and Gordon with the kill attempt. Sandlin to Godfrey. Clark on the block. Richards out of bounds. Well played by Addison Gordon. 7-7, seven, seven, third set. Gordon on the serve. Sandlin to Godfrey. Point, E-Town. Ball never cleared the net. Thomas will be the new server. Libero. Ah, ball comes over the net. Marion County was still trying to get in their position. Ball drops in the middle of the floor. 9-7, E-Town. Thomas with the score. Thomas, Gordon. Overstreet passes it over. Sandlin to Gaddis. Ah. Overstreet had the dig, put it in the net, and Griffins wasn't able to get it out. Those nets are very tight on top, but they're not real tight on the bottom. Balls don't, they just kind of roll out of it. Thomas to Overstreet. Ah. Fields unable to do anything with it. Timeout, Marion County. Probably a good timeout. It's just been kind of close game. Now Marion County falling behind 11-7. to seven. Final. Not final game, excuse me. Third set. E-Town won the first two sets, 25-19, to 25-16, respectively. Second semifinal. Again, we come over to follow Washington County tonight. Decided we'd do both games. All, these, all four teams work hard to get to this point of the season as you're in the semifinals of the region. Washington County unsuccessful as their season ends. Their final record was what? Washington County's getting the season at 15 and 22. Central Harden, Lady Bruins, number one team in the district. They're going to go to 31 and 8, and they'll play the winner of this game. E Town wants it to be them for a 17th district final. Marion County wants to break that up and make it a 20, 20th district, 17th district final. Thomas. Gordon, Richards, Clark blocked. Gribbins with the set. Out. Too hard by Fields. 12-7, Elizabethtown. Thomas, Overstreet, Richards, Gribbins. Floats one over. Sandlin sets it up for Godfrey. Fields serves one over. Sandlin's going to go to Godfrey again. Fields, Richards, Gribbins. Floats one to Thomas. Sandlin pushes one over. Into the net. Richard digs it out. Clark's going to grab it. Gaddis has hers blocked by Clark. Maggie Overstreet digs one out. Richards blocked by Gaddis. Push back over. Sandlin's going to set it. For Gaddis, Overstreet digs it out again. Gribben digs it, and nobody's behind her. Good volley. 13-7, Lisbethtown. Thomas still on the serve, and this was the second set this happened. Thomas had the ball for a while, was able to put some points together. Richards goes to Clark. Dug by Thomas. Gaddis pushes it to Clark, unable to handle it. 14-7. Thomas still serving. Is this point six she's run off? I think so. <laughs> Vicki Perkins 
votes for Addison Gordon for player of the game. All right, that's one vote. We'll write it down. Thank you, Miss Vicky. Now, where are you watching from? Are you watching from Florida? If you're watching from Florida, maybe worth two. Overstreet on the serve. Gaddis. Gaddis had a bad angle on that, was able to hit it sideways, backwards, something. I don't know what you call that, and Overstreet couldn't handle it. 15 8, and Godfrey's got the serve. Godfrey quickly puts one in the net. 15 9, Marion County. Glasscock and Mays coming back in for Gribbins and Richards. Senior team for Marion County. Senior team for E Town. Senior team for Central. Junior team for Washington County. Sandlin tries to float one over. May kind of has a block. And what are they going to say? Double hit. 16-9, E-Town. Sandlin's going to be back to serve. Opportunities are slipping away from Marion County. <laughs> Lynn Dyer is watching from Fort Myers, Florida. Thank you, Lynn. Glad you could join us. And Lynn, Ms. Dyer from Fort Myers, who are you watching? Marion County picks back up the serve. 10-16. They're down six. Fields with it. Double hit for E-Town. E-Town's kind of lost a little focus here. They're... they're it, it's a little early for them to put it in cruise control, but they're trying. 16-11, Marion County. Fields, Thomas, Sandlin, Redding finds the floor. 17-11, E-Town. It's going to send Gaddis back to serve. Gaddis is a senior on this team. Really nice player. Not a lot of substitution for... E-Town. Glasscock to May. She floats one over. Handled by Sandlin. Back to Redding. Finds the floor. Gaddis still with the serve. 18-11. We're passing out food. I'm raising my hand. Both teams. Marianne May back to serve. 18-12, Elizabethtown. May on a good dig, pops one over the net. Redding with it. May unable to get it. 19-12, Elizabethtown. Redding back with the serve. Six points from deciding this one. Up seven. Fields unable to handle it. Twenty to twelve. Okay. Marion County. Lynn Dyer is watching for Emma Sullivan. Well, we're glad you could join us tonight. I don't know how many games you get to watch, Miss Dyer, but we're glad you could join us tonight and see this one. 21 to 12. E-Town with the serve and the lead. Overstreet out. 22-12. Again, third set. Lanham checks in. Harmony Lanham, a senior for Marion County. She checks in. Redding with the serve. That's going to be out. 22-13. Coming in for Marion County is going to be Gribbins and Richards. Checking out is going to be Lanham and Glasscock. Serving is going to be Richards. 22-13. Put together some points here, and you never know what happens. 
Redding on the dig to Sandlin. To Prather. Clark's going to get it over. Redding, Prather. Sandlin's going to get it over. Gribbins, Richards, Gordon, Thomas on the dig. Sandlin. Gaddis. She touched the red line, maybe. I don't know. 22-14, Marion County's got the serve. Lanham's coming back in to serve. Richards is going to have a seat. Put together some points here. Come on, girls. It's not over. Thomas, Sandlin, Godfrey kills one home. Should be 23-14. Prather is going to be serving two points from being out. We will catch up with the player of the game for Marion County. Hint. Players, maybe. So we'll talk about it here off camera. We'll take a vote. George Graves is watching. Pepaw's watching, Jackson. Addison Gordon on the serve, 23-15, Elizabethtown. Godfrey, Overstreet on the dig. Lanham sets it up for Fields. Blocked by Sandlin, and we're at the game point. E-Town with the ball. So stay with us right after this game. Unless something miraculous happens right after this set. We're going to go down and coach David Hibbard. And we'll talk to our player players of the game. And that's come. Marion County's going to pick up the – hold on, hold on. They're going to say Gaddis come over, so they're going to give the points to Marion County. May's going to come in. Overstreet's going to go back to serve. 24 to 16. We're not done yet. Overstreet. Sandlin saves to Godfrey. Lanham to Gribbins. To field point. 24-17. Marion County might want to put something together. It's do or die time. Marion County's going to have to run off seven straight, though. Overstreet to serve. Sandlin. Gaddis to Gribbins, and the season for Marion County is going to end here tonight. Is E Town 25 to 17. So let's go down and grab the coaches, give us a couple minutes to reset a couple things, then we'll come up and we'll close everything out for the night. All right, we're with Coach Hibbard. Uh, Coach, tough game, lost three sets. E-Town's a pretty pretty solid team. You know, Godfrey and uh, Thomas, you know, she rang off several straight points there. Yeah. Uh, just a little much for the Knights tonight. Yeah, they had too much firepower. Uh, and something that we have not played a lot with is their speed, and they play at a fast pace, and they hit you from every position. There's no, They don't have any weak points. So they're hitting you from the right side. They're hitting you from the left side. They're hitting you from the middle. And we it was just too much for us tonight. Lady Knights responded, you know, at several points they, they kind of stuck with it. You know, the, the score would spread and then we'd come back. You know, it was, you know, there was an 11-point spread there late in this third point. And, you know, your girls kind of fired back up and tried to stay in it. Yeah, and our defense was not terrible. Uh, if we could have passed the ball a little bit, I, I would like to have seen our hitting on their defense. Probably would have scored a few more points, but that's how good they are. They get you out of your normal stuff, get you out of system, and so they put us out of a lot of our system, and so we couldn't get our normal hitters in position to hit against them. A lot of seniors on this year's team, and uh, what 
what do they do for your program as you move forward? Well, this year's group has really set an example for what we should do for the future, and we got a lot of young players. You're going to talk to Addison Gordon and Maggie Overstreet. They're freshmen. Yeah. You know, this is their first time in a regional tournament, and they play pretty darn well. So, you know, I'm hoping the seniors are going to set the stage for them to do great things as they advance and go up in years. It's always tough to end the season. You're going to season 500, I believe, 19 and yep. 19. Yep. So that's a good thing going into uh, to next season. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really nice team. And, you know, we look forward to doing this again. Thanks. So appreciate y'all coming. Uh, well, that's no problem. We yep. was glad to do it. We had yep. several uh, parents that were able to watch tonight. Yep. And, uh, like I say, if you can send those two out, we'll, we'll talk to them as player yep. of the game. Thank so you. appreciate it. Tough, but guess what? It's going to be an all 17th district finals. You're going to have Central Harden and E Town over here. Um, I got football practice tomorrow night, so eh, somebody else can come over and do it. But stay with us. We're going to reset. Uh, we're going to kind of load everything back up. And we'll get players of the game from Marion County. Our player atmosphere entertainment players of the game are going to be two freshmen with a senior laden team. They never left the floor, and that's going to be Maggie Overstreet and Addison Gordon. So hang with us, and we'll be right back. All right, we have garnered two players out of the Marion County locker room, two freshmen on a senior laden team. Uh, we elected to give it to, uh, you know, it's hard to pick you know, a group of seniors you had, but, you know, you two uh, seem to carry the energy. So we got Maggie Overstreet freshman and Addison Gordon freshman. What's it mean to play in a regional semifinal this early in your career? Um, to me, it's the beginning to my career because, I mean, it gives me the opportunity to, like, actually know what's going to, like, in the future to expect and to get better as I go. So I'm really excited to be, like, a senior and see what my, uh, like, my class can do. I'm really excited. What's, what did you take, what will you take away from the senior class? You know, there's six or seven seniors on this year's team. What, what, what kind of leadership did they show? They showed the most amazing leadership that I've had through my whole three years playing with them. They were literally my favorite group, and I'm going to miss them so much. They stayed positive. They stayed on us all the time, and that means a lot. So what's up for Marion County Volleyball? You know, you, you, you all are kind of leading freshmen or some sophomores that got some playing time tonight, but, you know, it's going to be up to, you know, the younger, younger group to kind of carry this team. But where do you all go from here and uh, to get ready? Um, we go from here, we take last year's experience, we take this year's experience, and we take it on from next year. We keep on building up and build our, um, we build our, uh, yeah, we build our team and everything. All right, well, that's Marion County's player of the game, freshman Maggie Old Street and Addison Gordon. Great, great game girls, and we'll get you all back with your family. So, and here you can tell Vicki out.
<laughs> so there's your players of the games. Uh, guys, we'll wrap it up from here. It's late and I've been up for a while. Again, we want to thank Washington County TV uh, for coming over tonight. Mike Cyphers and Matt Smith, Washington County School District, for their support and coming over. Uh, we've got some games coming up. Um, uh, as we'll find this final out to volleyball season is Washington County Falls. Tomorrow night's game will be between Central Harden, Bru Lady Bruins, and the Elizabethtown Lady Panthers. Next coming up, check. You know, you never know where we'll see us. It depends on where Matt and I text and decide we're going to show up that night. Most likely it's going to probably be either a football game or on November 17th. Please join us at Washington County High School campus for Commander Madness, November 17th. I think that's going to start at 7 o'clock. Check Facebook pages and local uh, media for that. So for uh, Matt Smith and Mike Cyphers in the Washington County School District, I'm John Graves, and we're going to catch you all next time. Good night.